everybody this is Con uh, now in another Gunting Run video this time with the BMW 530e now uh, some of you if you have been following my earlier videos the first car which I uh, you know uh, published a Gunting Run video in was uh, interestingly enough the 530i of this current generation 5 series so going up the same route again with the plug-in hybrid version uh, and yeah so right now the car is set up in sport mode transmission in drive I'm putting the selector into sport the automatic transmission into sport mode uh, my hybrid battery now has about 17 kilometers of range in it not sure how much it will contribute to the drive but suffice to say that I'm not going up with an empty battery lah. okay so going up the first turn past the guardhouse traffic today seems less uh, congested than it was last week when I came up in the Mercedes AMG C43 but still I'm behind a, a number of slow moving cars so just have to let let these cars pass first oh my god that might be just you can you believe it that might be just simply you turn yes. please guys don't simply you turn on busy stretches of road okay right so clear road ahead oh. very very good okay coming up to more slow traffic now uh as much as people say right that when you come from the 530i to the 530e here you will carry a bit of a dynamic penalty because of the extra weight of the hybrid battery uh, that part is true but one thing you need to also keep in mind uh, the extra weight of the 530e are all right at the back so meaning that right when it comes to the front end of the car you are talking Basically, the front end of the car carries the same amount of weight because it is the same 2.0-litre B48 engine up front. Okay, it's just tuned to different outputs, but it is the same engine. So, the steering feel, the, the you know, that steering sharpness, that agility, the front end agility that, uh, that I experienced with the 530i is effectively, you know, undisturbed in this car. I think in my review of the 530e I mentioned that any dynamic deficiencies between this car and the 530i uh, cannot be you know conclusively drawn on day-to-day -day driving I'm gonna need to amend that a little I can't even draw any conclusive differences uh, on a Gunting run but it helps that you know, compared to the three thirty, the F three thirty E, for example, which is a much you know, based on a much older platform, the G thirty five series platform was developed from the onset with a plug in hybrid variant in mind. So, right from the start, right when BMW configured this chassis, they did when they when they you know developed this chassis they already had in mind that there will be a plug-in hybrid variant with extra weight slung over the back and as a result this car feels almost just as well balanced as the regular petrol model Going through 
charging down through that corner it did feel a little bit heavy but certainly not by a significant margin and if you have come from any variant any four cylinder variant of the f10 5 series dynamically this car will still feel like an upgrade yep so approaching gotong jaya now bunch of slow traffic so i'm going to take it easy from here so as you can see right the 530e is amazingly capable it is the chassis is is very very good this is as i've said before this is perhaps the best five series uh after since the e39 and that is no small praise coming from me the only thing is that you know as i come up as i negotiated those bands right the 530e is a very very capable car but strangely enough right the driving aspect the emotional you know that that emotional engagement between driver and car you know and strangely i'm comment making a comment making this comment from a bmw right it is not as engaging as it was with the mercedes amg c43 okay and i would say that handling wise the 530e is a sharper handling car than the mercedes but somehow the mercedes feels more entertaining to you know when you when you when you push it hard when you gun its throttle the engine note and all that the mercedes is a more in, uh, entertaining car to drive which is a very very surprising thing to say from a bmw i mean if come if you roll the clock back 10 years and if you were sitting in an E65 series, if if you were to tell people from that vantage point that the C-Class is the more entertaining car to drive, people would look at you, are you crazy? That kind of thing. Now, you have to bear, you have to make a clear differentiation. I am not saying the C the, the AMG C43 is a better car to drive. It is a more entertaining car to drive. Handling wise, the 530e or even the, the F3330e are both more composed, sharper, more agile than the Mercedes. But somehow, it, these car, the BMWs now somehow l lack that entertaining entertainment factor that they once had. But still, overall, it is a very impressive showing for a car that, you know, purports to be, you know, a plug-in hybrid, uh, you know, a green car. So, uh, after I published my 530e review, uh, people were commenting and saying, would you, would you buy this? How would you compare this against the Volvo S90 T8? And... You know, coming up here, at least I get one thing, one thing very clear. The S90 T8 is a better overall package. It is a more expensive car, but you get so much more. And, you know, Volvo is throwing you a, you know, a seriously generous amount of safety, you know, in that car. It, the full works, okay? And... Honestly, if you are okay to do without air suspension, if you are okay to do without the bounce and wheel system, the base S90 T8 inscription, the difference between that and the price and this uh, is even less significant, you know, especially when you convert it to monthly repayments. So, between the 530E and the S90 T8, there is no doubts whatsoever the S90 T8 is the better overall package. But, as for being the better car to drive, this one, no, no question. The 530e, it drives better than the S90 T8. It also drives better than the Mercedes E350e, which, as we learned last week, uh, has already been discontinued. So, I mean, last time in my previous employment, I've also taken the Audi A6 hybrid up here. And, you know, as far as 
hybrids in this segment is concerned, you know, in this mid-size segment is concerned, none of them, uh, I would say, drive as well as the 530 here. It's just that, you know, for all its astonishing capabilities, it misses out a little on the engage, the engage, the driver engagement that, you know, that that feeling that it is the car is playing with you it, with the 530e right it the car just okay i'm point I, my steering points you where i want to go i go that's it i do exactly as you say and very good at it but it doesn't talk back to you yeah okay so time to return this car and yep, so until my next video, thanks for watching, bye for now.